Hello there. Today I want to talk about a topic on how to weed out men who aren't the right partner for you. I'll explain in detail about which men you need to avoid. Number 1 The get over it type of man. When he made a mistake for example he offered to make you dinner and he forgot the desert. A man who respects you would go to the store and get it right away, because his error is not your responsibility to deal with. He takes the chance to solve the problem he caused alone, without expecting any understanding from you, he won't turn to self-pity saying that he's tired, or that he can always get you tomorrow, he will grab his keys right away and walk towards his car on his way to make his mistake undone, and if a man is not bothered to solve the tiny error he made then he won't try to fix it when he screwed you over, the right person in your life will not try to make things right with you, he will make his mistake undone, if he arrives late all the time, he will not suggest to make it right with you the next day, or that he'll do better next time, he will go to counseling to find the root of the faulty behavior and solve it so that it won't happen again, he'll make sacrifices in his own life to make sure the shortcomings will be his strength not expect you to be understanding, if you settle for men making things right with you instead of making his errors undone then you are signing up for the classic makeup and breakup relationship. Little things in men's behavior always predicts the future. Number 2 This is how I love type of man. Most men will never prioritize what they can offer you, they always prioritize what they can get and how you can make them feel, if you find the way he loves you or behaves towards you unpleasant he should never silence you by saying that this is how he is and you should accept it or leave the relationship, a man who respects you will show his love through actions that benefits you only, if you come home and he greets you with a smile having dinner ready, while it wasn't your turn to make dinner. Then you found yourself a keeper, because he wants to do what makes you appreciate him. If he denies you things because he loves you, or is fishing for your sympathy when he lets you down by saying that he's tired, he had a lot of work to do then you were with the wrong person. His problem and responsibility should never be your inconvenience, he must do what he promised always. Number 3 If you love me you would do this type of man. That's the manipulation tactic that many men continue to use and women never seem to understand that a man like that shouldn't even have access in your life. The only thing you owe a man is respect, respect him and appreciate the things you do for him, if that's not enough to prove that you love him then kick him to the curb. Number 4 A man who wants you to look at the good side of him as a person only and accept the bad side without pressuring him to change. Nobody is perfect but that doesn't excuse him to give a bad performance. When you get your driver's license, you probably made some errors that lost you some points, but your skill as a driver overshadowed the little errors making you worthy of owning a driver's license and pass the exam. Find yourself a man who works on overshadowing his shortcomings, his faulty character, because believes that you deserve to be with a man at his absolute best behavior. Treat your life and your home as a company he wants to work in, a company would never hire rude, lazy, entitled slobs who you just have to accept because they are not perfect, a company hires people who are useful, responsible, and are at their best behavior otherwise the sales will suffer. Same with you, if you accept men just because they are nice guys or say the word I love you many times but aren't interested in self-investment to be the right and suitable partner for you then you'll suffer mentally while he gets all the good stuff. Employees don't cater to themselves in a company, they cater to the company so that the company can serve them back by paying them that that how men should operate in your life. If a man doesn't act like a life raft to save you and himself when times are hard then he will cling onto you and you will drown while he keeps his head above the water. Most men want you to be there for them, sacrifice your career for them, and when times are tough they expect you to help them and support them to take the next step. But who will help you? Not him. Number 5 You need to make it work in order to be with him scenario. If you need to try to make things work with him then you are signing up for disappointments. He either works on being on his best behavior every single day, work on himself every moment, improve himself or kick him to the curb. In a relationship the woman is a key and the man is an engine, if the engine doesn't start when the key fits it's not a key that needs fixing it's the engine. If the engine is faulty you get it fixed or replace it with a new and better one. You will not try to make things work with a faulty engine that could put you at risk having your car break down in the middle of the road so why try to make it work with a man? You will get the same outcome.